We're here at Elite Speedway and uh, I've got an opportunity to actually test the new Toyota tires TR1 on track. Well, it's not Sepang Circuit. It's uh, you know it's a bit smaller. It's a lot more technical, um, lower speed, of course. And this will be actually my first time driving at Elite Speedway with the 86. Uh, but anyway, I think it's a good benchmark. I mean, I've been living with it for the past five years now. I understand the vehicle. I have had many sets of different mix of tires on the car. Um, so. What happened was we got the tires yesterday, we got it fitted on the car. I had a very short opportunity to drive it on the road. Uh, so late yesterday evening and this morning uh, heading towards Elite Speedway. So my first impression would be it's actually a very sporty tire. Um, it's a very stiff tire. Uh, but Toyo actually did um, you know a tremendous job uh, giving a very uh, solid and uh, supportive tire uh, that still has a lot of creature comfort in it so if you talk about impact feel it's still very well rounded noise levels is actually um, quite low as well so you know it's got all the traits of a road tire and uh, we'll be testing the performance shortly so i'm excited and uh, i hope you are too the TR1 tire is classified as a high performance tire and it does look the part. So from tread design, it is very aggressive and it does look very, very sporty. When fitted onto the car, uh, my wheels are actually 8.5 inch wide. And normally with the 225, they seem to be a bit stretched out. But with the latest TR1, they fit flush which means you are getting a slightly wider tire than the specified 225 width. So now we come down to actually driving the TR1 tire on track. And one of the strong traits of this tire will be the steering connection. I found it to be precise and spot on. It gave a lot of confidence behind the wheel. Although um, the steering efforts could have been a bit higher, this is a personal preference. But then again, it, it gives you a good balance between road driving and circuit driving. When driving it sideways, however, I found the balance uh, and the progressiveness of grip was exceptional. So you, you have a lot of control uh, when you chuck it sideways which is always good because you have passed the limit uh, of grip and, uh, but at the same time it actually gives you that connection uh, where you know and understand where the limit of grip is even though you've passed it. So all in all, I found it to be a great tyre. Wow, it's a super hot day here at Elite Speedway and uh, we just completed our video shoot uh, together with uh, Roda Pusing um, and I managed to get to review the TR1s that's on my 86. So, uh, verdict, um, I think the TR1s are a really good high performance tyre uh, for the price point. So if you talk about overall grip, uh, the comfort levels uh, together with noise levels, um, it is well balanced. So um, you've got a stiff, sporty tire that gives you the response uh, which you want out of a sporty tire. Uh, but at the same time, not sacrificing on comfort. It might not have ultimate grip. Um, I mean, I've tried or I've driven uh, much uh, grippier tires but then again I think for the price point um, for the balance which it gives you uh, which is a combination of road driving as well as uh, spirited driving um, I think um, it, it does the job really well 
Um, I particularly particularly like uh, the progressiveness of the tire. So yes, it might not have that ultimate grip which you know a lot of people talk about. Uh, but also when you when you, when it comes with high grip, uh, the issues also um, um, crops up, which is you know you get a tire which is very edgy. So you get you get a lot of grip. And when you lose it, you lose all of it. So what the TR1 gives you is a very progressive uh, level of grip at uh, maximum load, for example. So all in all, um, I enjoyed my drive. Uh, this is the first time driving the 86 at uh, Elite Speedway. And, uh, you know, we did some quick laps. I don't know if Sham took the times, but yeah, I did some quick laps. Uh, it was... Of course, I mean, it's way faster than the Vios race car. I mean, this is a 2-litre sports car versus uh, a 1.5 uh, saloon, uh, which has been uh, upgraded to a race car. Uh, but all in all, you know, we were going sideways as well. So I had about, you know, three, four laps going sideways. So if you talk about wear rate as well, um, I will rate the tyre at an 8. Um, so, you know, even with uh, so much hard driving, um, you know, the tyre wear is uh, relatively low. Uh, so it'll give you good mileage for sure, uh, even with track days. So um, yes, again, all in all, grip, um, I would say, you know, a six and a half, seven. Uh, steering connectivity, uh, six and a half, seven. Uh, progressiveness, um, I would say eight. Um, you know, comfort, comfort, and uh, noise levels, uh, maybe a seven, seven and a half. So all in all, it, it's a great tire for for what you're paying for, and um, yeah, um, I can't wait to drive it further. So I might do another review in a week's time after um, driving it for longer on the on the road, uh, especially in wet weather. I'm I'm interested to see what type of grip levels we get, uh, or what type of confidence the tires gives you. Uh, when you're driving in the wet. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Um, we might put up another video in a week's time. Um, an update to our TR1 review. Thanks.